Hey, you pieces of shit. Well, well uh, FTCR, FTCR tutorial for the FTCR members. Okay. <clears throat> now, to get good audio, you need to have a good environment first. So make sure there's nothing else around you to make noise. Uh, make sure you're not, you know, fumbling around. Make sure you don't have anything fucking with your microphone. Um, you, you know what? I'm going to go turn the AC off because that's what I always do because I'm committed. Because, you know, it's already nice and cool in here because the AC has been on all day. I can turn it off for an hour. That's going to be fine. It's going to be fair. In fact, if you want, you can turn your AC on full blast to really, you know, cool down your environment and then turn it off for the hour or two that you record. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Pieces of shit. I fucking hate all of you. Okay. Here's Audacity and here's the recording. And <clears throat> as you can see here, uh, my voice is in between the 12 and 9 area. Or sorry, yeah, 12, 12 and zero. You know, twelve and zero. That's a good. That's where you want to be. Where green just starts to I'm trying to make noise so I can show you the yellow. Uh, right there where the yellow is, and you know, you don't want things to get too loud because when they get too loud, they become red, and red means your audio is hot. And when it gets hot, it gets this really bizarre staticky sound that you can't fix in post. Um, and a lot of people don't care. A lot of people are already familiar with the fact that when you scream into a microphone, you get that really weird <coughs> noise. So, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who cares. Um, uh, I care. But, you know. That always goes off by the wayside. I'm Anson My Eye Steven. And, uh, we are going to clean up this audio. Uh, so pull up your, what is this program? Adobe Audition, and I have CC14. If you don't have Adobe Audition, then you can't do what I'm about to show you to do. So I don't know, uh, subscribe to Adobe because you can get every single Adobe program up to date, all updates. And whenever a new version comes out, you get that one for free. Well, for free in quotes. Uh, you get all the programs. You get all the programs, all the updates for 50 bucks a month. Uh, that's kind of expensive for some people, but I need it. I need it to survive. So, or pirate it. I don't care. I'm not your mom, but I could be for the right price. So I'm going to stop my. I'm going to stop this recording and put it into here. Oh, yeah. Okay. What you're going to do is um, create yourself a file, a, fi a file structure. Your, uh, here's the audio for whatever project it is you're going to be using. And divide it into fixed and raw. All of the recordings that you're going to receive from people will go into raw. This is what I just recorded. And we're going to fix it and put our fixed version in here. So that way we're not overwriting uh, the original. Just in case we mess up when we try to fix it, we'll always have the original, so we can always go back and try again. So just drag that in here. Okay, double click it, and here we go. Uh, so, there's me. Yay, two Stevens, what the world needed. Uh, so, first thing we're gonna do is to clean this thing up is we're going to find a piece of audio that has uh, nothing going on. No movement, no talking, no anything. And usually you can find that right at the beginning. So as you can see here, here's me talking and it looks like there's nothing going on, but you come down here and you can see that there is actually some stuff going on in there. There's little bits of movement and here's some voice. And I've been looking at the screen a lot lately for editing 06 and I've 
learned what all these little bips and bops are. Um, so we want to find a bit of audio where we don't hear anything going on except for the room tone. Room tone is uh, just like that. If you if you set your microphone up and you set it to record and you don't move or say anything, you'll still hear this like noise. That's the room tone. Sound hits walls and echoes continuously forever and ever and ever. And when you make a noise inside a room like this, you don't hear the echo anymore, but it is still technically echoing around in your room forever. And it's not getting absorbed by anything. And plus you have a lot of exterior uh, noises coming from the world around you that, you know, you've become you've become insane and you don't hear them anymore because you're used to them. But anyways, it's still there. It's still there. And your microphone's picking it up. Uh, so if you turn if you turn the audio on your speakers or your headphones all the way up, you will hear all these little bips and bops. All right, that was me tapping on some keys. So let's zoom out and try to find an area where I'm not making any noise. Oh God, that was loud. So ah, here's a big empty section. People are still firing fireworks outside. It's ridiculous. I think this is where I stepped away and, and went off to turn the AC. So I'm not in the room. So you shouldn't be making that much noise. But you'll still be able to hear it if you have your headphones or your speakers turned all the way up. Yep, I can hear lots of stuff going on. But there's a big chunk here where nothing's going on. Yeah, somewhere in here. So we'll highlight that. And we will set this as a noise print. And what a noise print does is we're telling the computer, hey, I want you to recognize this pattern of waves. If I zoom in all the way here, and I mean all the way, you can start to see all these little points. I think your computer records hundreds of thousands of little points every second when it comes to recording audio. And we're telling the computer to recognize this pattern of points when we select when we create a noise print and then when we select the entire track by con by pressing control a we tell the computer to remove that entire pattern from the entire uh track so we go back to noise reduction and now we tell it to remove this noise <laughs> if you can eliminate all your room noise beforehand uh then this whole process will become a lot easier right now i have uh this noise reduction filter set all the way to 100% on both the reduction and the reduce by. Don't know what either of those terms mean, but I've set them all the way to 100%. And um, if you barely have any room noise to begin with, then you this is fine. You can leave it at 100. That's fine. However, if you have a lot of room noise, it's going to become tricky because you're if you set it all the way to 100, you're going to get this really strange sounding compressed watery noise. And you're going to have to play with these. You're going to have to, you know, subtract both of these values and try to find a good point in between uh, where, you know, things don't sound as watery, but they don't sound too noisy. Uh, really, the, the best way to, to eliminate room noise is to do it physically in the real world before you even record. So I'm going to apply this filter. And now I've eliminated the room noise. Now when I come back in here and listen to it, also, do you see how all this has changed? There's not as near as much purple as there was before. Here, I'll undo so you can see. There's all that purple. And a lot of that purple is gone now. Black means nothing's going on. So the closer you get to black, the better, technically. I don't know. It might start to sound worse. Shut up. So see, all I hear are little bips and bops, but I don't hear any of that hiss anymore. And you can hear a little bit of that watery sound, but that's because I have our speakers turned all the way up and I'm listening to very, 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 very quiet noise. That watery noise isn't going to apply to all the louder noises. Uh, when you get to this point in the process, turn your speakers down. <laughs> You'll blow your ears out. You'll wake everyone up and it's not going to be fun. Turn your speakers down now. 
before you go back into listening to the voice. Because you know, it's already nice and cool in here because the AC's been on all day. All the room hiss is gone. All the noise from my computer is gone. Sounds good. All right, next step is we're going to equalize the audio because my voice sounds bad. I don't have a nice sounding voice. So when you open this parametric equalizer out, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a flat line with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots on here. Um, these are all just little controls. You can move them up and down and uh, we will be able to lower and raise. I was about to say higher. <laughs> That's not a verb. Uh, we can lower and raise uh, different parts of the audio track. Down here are our lows, indicated by L, and up here are our highs. And that doesn't mean the lowness and highness of the volume. This is controlling uh, the pitch of the audio. So my voice has a lower spectrum and a higher spectrum and a middle spectrum. All voices do. All noises do. If I do this, then if I take the lows all the way out... Here, sorry, let me just go back to a blank slate. If I take all the lows out, I'm going to sound really bizarre because you know it's already nice and cool in here because the ac's been on all day i could turn it off for an hour i sound like i'm coming from a radio well it sounds like a radio filter that you see traditionally on tv or something like that radios actually sound better than that but you know what i mean i sound like i have that weird radio filter on tv uh what if i boost the lows all the way up i'm gonna sound silly because you know, it's already nice and cool in here. <laughs> I sound like a, I don't know, a terrible meme. So anyways, yeah, that's the, the basic theory on it. So what do I do? I played around with it till I found out stuff that works and stuff that doesn't work. Um, but I'm going to help you eliminate having to figure that out for yourself. Uh, let's listen to the track. And I'm just going to play with this until I find something that sounds good. Because you know. It's already nice and cool in here because the AC's been on all day. I can turn it off for an hour. So I'm already starting to sound a little bit better by taking the mids out. Because you know, it's already nice and cool in here because the AC's been on all day. I can turn it off for an hour. So I'm not good at enunciating. It's just who I am. And when I try to enunciate, I sound even worse. If I try to enunciate, then I sound like an idiot. So... Um, your consonants are the really high parts of your voice. That's the k, the t, 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 t. those are all really high pitched noises. So if I raise my highs a little bit, I'll start to get more consonants coming out of here. Because the AC's been on all day, and now I can finally hear the D and day. Because the AC's been on all day. It's not because the AC's been on all day. It's because the AC's been on all d. A, you can hear that D now. The AC's been on all day. Yeah. Um, you might not be able to tell, but from editing my audio constantly, uh, I can tell that I've got a lot of bass in my throat. That doesn't mean that I have a low-pitched voice, but there's still a lot of bass in there. Um, so if I eliminate the bass, then my consonants will come out even more. So if I take the bass out just a little bit here and here, my voice is going to sound clear and no one should be able to misinterpret what I'm saying. It's already nice and cool in here because the AC has been on all day. So yeah, that's the basic premise of it. You play with it till you find something that works, but I played with myself and everyone else heck, <laughs> giggity to the point of where I've got lots of different uh, parameters for everyone. Like for instance, this is what Aaron Wester's voice, uh, what does, that's not what his voice looks like, but this is what makes his voice look better. Here's one for Gareth. You see, I really raise up his uh, to make his consonants come out a lot. And where's me? Here's me. Yep, so let me just play this back for you. It's already nice and cool in here. Because the AC's been on all day. Now you're hearing some noise in here. That's my noise. That's, that's my that's my that's my chair moving around. That's me sitting in it and moving around. Don't move around when you record, because eliminating those noises is impossible to get rid of in post. It's already nice and cool in here. 
Cool in here. Cool in here. That's my chair rattling. So uh, once you find out uh, how you want this thing to sound, make sure you select the entire track. That's important. And apply. And now I sound better. It's already nice and cool in here because the AC has been on all day. Here's what I sounded like before. It's already nice and cool in here because the AC has been on all day. Damn, what an improvement. That sounds terrible. Let's go back to what's... Let's, let's go back to the good it's stuff. It's already nice and cool in here because the AC has been on all day. Ah, it's great. Let's do it again. Because the AC has been on all day. 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 Yeah. All right. Sounding good. Um, check this out. Some really loud moments. There's some really quiet moments in here. I don't want to have to go through here and adjust the volume, turn it down here, raise it up here. That's going to take all fucking day. What if there was a way for the computer to do it for me? <laughs> there is. I set that up for you. Dynamics processing. This thing is, uh, this line that goes down the middle, not the curvy one, but you see this little green line that comes diagonally through the middle of this square. Uh, if we set this, let's see, what, is, what did I set to? Oh, I, ha I don't have this curve saved. I'm an idiot. I need to save this as curve. <laughs> save your presets. Oh yeah, so I guess I could have told you that earlier. This is how you save any preset. When we do like, uh, when we were doing parametric equalizer, if you want to save this as a new preset, just come in here and save and I'm going to call this shitty preset because that's terrible. That would make me sound horrible. And now I have a new preset and I can go back to me. And I can go back to shitty preset whenever I want. Sorry, that was a little bit out of order. Let's go back to what we were doing. We were doing dynamics processing. So let me start off with... Is there a blank one? Is there a way to reset? Let's fuck this up. Here it is, reset. All right, this is what you're going to see when you first open this up. Um, Right-click this point and delete it. And then come down here and select Spline Curves. And uh, that will allow us to get a nice clean curve. If we don't spline the curve, when we start to click to add points and move these points around, they're going to be really jagged. But if we spline them, boo! Now it sort of, it figures out the average of uh, all these points. So when I drag, oh God, when I drag this point over here, it will manipulate the curve to be drawn towards it. And then halfway between this point and this point, it'll start to draw towards this point and so on. And it's sort of like using a Bezier curve in any art tool. Um, anyways, reset this, delete this point and get a point here, get a point here, drag this one all the way down and drag it out to about, hmm, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what is that, 60 and 50? I don't know, what was the curve that I created? Oh, that's way different. Drag the new point you made and drag it out to about, what is that? 70, 76, negative 76. And drag your second point out to, that's about negative 15 by negative 46. And then your point that goes up here, take it down to about negative 10. And you're probably wondering, what the fuck is all this going to do? How is this going to help? Uh, what it, what we're doing here is this line right here, this green line represents uh, the audio in your track. Uh, here's the lower decibel parts. That means the lower volume. Here's the higher decibel parts. What we're doing is when we take this down, we're telling it that all these really loud par parts, you can't be that loud. You got to be down here now. Everything in the middle... <coughs> Everything in the middle here, you need to go up, and everything that's really quiet, you need to come down. So we're going to take all the quiet moments, like all the bips and bops, like of moving around, we're going to make all that quiet. I am a terrible teacher. And then we're going to beef up the slightly uh, quieter moments, like of people talking. And then we're going to take down all the really loud moments, like where people laugh and stuff.
Okay, we're going to apply this. And holy shit, everything's loud. But everything is even. Everything is roughly the same uh, volume. So up here is a volume control. Take this down by about uh, roughly negative six. And now everything is roughly the same volume. Roughly, it's good enough. All right, but we still have some bits of audio that are going out of range. And this is gonna get really hot. It's gonna reach the red. It's not a big deal. That's really loud. So <clears throat> select all this audio and we're going to put a hard limiter on it. Set the maximum amplitude to negative one decibels. So your audio is only going to reach right here. It'll never peak and never create that really weird noise. It'll never get too hot. It'll never go above negative one. I hit apply. And you see how it looks like we took some scissors and then just cut right through that. <laughs> It'll never get too loud. So now when we play through these really loud moments, hour or two that you record, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Pieces of sh I fucking hate all of you. So we stayed between uh, negative 12 and negative one, and that's a really good range for your voice to be. All right, and uh, I don't fucking know, you're done. Export file into, uh, no, this is my 06 folder on, on the desktop for this audio. Put it in your fixed folder and give it a conventional uh, uh, naming system. Like put your project name first, tutorial, and then the name of the person because you're gonna have lots of people in your LPs. And then the part number, so a one, even though there's only one part to this. And save. Make sure you change the format to what you want. MP3 is fine. It's, it's technically a lossy. It's technically a lossy format, meaning that you will lose some quality in it, but it's, you're putting this on the internet. Who gives a shit? Yes. And exporting. And there you go. You're good to go. And I never save these because I exported a file, you know, I don't need to, I don't need to also have a project file. So no. And now let's listen. Let's listen to the difference. Hey, you pieces of shit. Well, well uh, FGCR, FGCR tutorial for. Hey, you pieces of shit. Well, well uh, FGCR, FGCR tutorial for. Sounds much better. So thank you very much. Uh, please, uh, please flag this video and report me and. Uh, you know, all that stuff, unsubscribe, and, and, uh, I don't know. He, here's, I'll give you my address so you can just come kill me. It's 18 Skidoo Avenue, Washington State, Florida, 32186. Uh, dash, lol.